everybody and welcome back to Boho Jewel here on YouTube. My name is Sandra Bells and I like all things crafty and creative. So um, I love sharing new things that I find all the time and the other day I posted a video where I was making some really big L envelopes and big 12 by 12 envelopes for a project for my daughter's school and the video went kind of sideways and wonky on me so I thought I would take two and try it again and I found two different ways actually to make some envelopes and I thought I would share them both really quick since the gift giving season is upon us very soon these are some cute ways to use some little scraps of paper or just to be personalized and make your own little envelopes or larger size envelopes you would just use bigger paper for gift cards or just using scraps of paper. So if you don't know what to do with your scraps of scrapbook paper, here's a couple of cool ideas. So I bought this the other day when I went to Hobby Lobby um, and I just like all the gold, it's very classic. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna use it all for, but I'm definitely gonna use it for a few envelopes. I might put some of these in my Etsy orders. We'll see, but you'll just need some square paper. So that's the basic idea, just to have some square sheets of paper, like an origami square. Let's see, we'll do that one and we'll do this one. And I use these little binder clips and I'll show you what I'm gonna use those for in a minute and a glue stick. And that's it, that's all you need. So the first one I'm gonna show you, really simple. I'm gonna put my paper pretty side down, fold it corner to corner, Make sure the corners meet up. Get a nice crease. So this is gonna be this one right here. And this one has like the little dip right here, so it's a little bit fancy. There are a few crease lines on it, but it doesn't bother me too much, it's still cute. So, corner to corner, open it up, you have your crease, and then you fold it in the opposite direction, corner to corner. Then you're gonna open it up. And so now you're gonna take one of your corners and fold them to the middle point right there where your intersection crosses, just like that. You can do the same thing on the other side. Meet it in the middle. Crease it. And now, instead of meeting this one all the way up to the middle, you're gonna leave a little bit of space there. So you're not gonna meet it all the way to the middle. You're gonna leave just a little tiny bit of space, just a little bit of a gap. Make sure your folds are nice and straight. And then you end up with these little, kind of beveled, not beveled, but these little corners that aren't um, super pointy. They're not perfect points. Now, you're gonna see your crease lines right here and right here, and I'm gonna fold this guy up to meet right about halfway of that, that cr those creases. So about right halfway in between that shape, I found was the best, was the result that I liked the most. And the same thing on the other side, about halfway. Just like that, okay? And now you're just gonna take this and right along where you have your edges here, you're gonna use those as a guide. You might need to push that down just a little and just fold it up along that edge. And if you were using a thinner paper, um, you might not have this issue, but the card stock, because it's thicker and it kind of has a mind of its own, it might poof up on you. So just hold this down, smooth your card stock down a little bit, a little bit more. <laughs> okay, and so then I'm going to take my glue stick. We just went back to school supply shopping, so I've got glue sticks. Glue sticks galore, I like them for all kinds of things. And I'm gonna put them just on these corners right here so I don't end up with a mess. Just a good bit of glue stick on those corners. Fold them up, and this is where the binder clips are useful. Um, because the cardstock wants to poof, I'm just going to kind of clip it on the edge right there. Because the cardstock wants to poof away from itself, and that will keep your edges together 
just for a few minutes, just long enough for the glue stick to do its job and get stuck. And then when you take it apart, you'll fold your top edge down as well, and you'll have your cute little origami style envelope. You can put gift cards in there or a little note for someone or cash. Cash is always good. And then just put a little sticker on the front maybe to close it up. So now for these, these are, they start the same way, but they're your basic kind of um, rectangle envelopes. And I thought about this now that I know how to do this. I'm always missing these when I need to mail big stuff, you know, those long envelopes. So now I know how to do this. So if I'm ever in need of an envelope, and just, instead of trying to squeeze it into one of my smaller ones, I'm just going to take a piece of paper and fold it up. So this one, same thing. You choose your paper, pretty side down, and you're going to meet corner to corner. and open it up and now instead of folding the other way you're just going to bring one up to the center right here right there to the middle and then on this side we're going to leave this pretty side that's uncreased uncreased we're not going to crease it you're going to meet this one right in the middle as well get yourself a pretty good little point there and same thing on the other side. Just like that. And then I'm just going to fold this up all the way up to right here. So right here where you already made the crease, and this part right here where there's already a crease, you're just going to fold back along that crease and get it folded up and then I'm going to put some glue just right here on this little triangle section and this little triangle section you don't want to put it here because then you'll glue it to your, your envelope <laughs> you'll, you'll glue it to your your flap that's the word I was looking for your flap and again I'm not a big fan of the purple glue, but I thought it would be kind of helpful in a video to see where the glue's going. And again, I just take my little binder clip and put one on each side. Whoops. Slippery little buggers. And just give that a couple of minutes to set. And you've got yourself a handy dandy envelope. So let me know if you guys are going to try these. I think they're fun. I think it's a cute way to use maybe extra paper um, that you might not be sure what to do with. I always find pretty papers on bags. Sometimes stores, uh, right, especially around the holidays, start giving out really fancy little paper bags and things. And sometimes you just don't know what to do with the paper. So this adds kind of a personalized touch. So let me know if you try these. Let me know. Um, any other crafty things that you might want me to try out? I love exploring new things and learning how things work and making them. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you soon.